Hi guys and welcome back. This time we will in this video we'll be looking at hedging plants and screen plants. If you look behind me through the square window, uh, we'll, you can see some plants here that I've used uh, to screen out my neighbours. Without them there, um, we would be exposed to the neighbours. The fence, the wooden fence goes up to about two metres high, but it's not enough because the windows of the house on the neighbour's side will be a bit higher and they can sort of look over and that sort of ruins privacy for both sides actually. It ruins, ruins privacy for us and ruins privacy for them so we can, it's like a two-way street. So having plants that will grow up and give you a natural sort of softer background but, but, but also screen out the visuals are very important. And uh, There are a number of plants that can do this. Some plants are better than others. Ones that will respond to clipping and um, uh, will form a nice sort of tight thinner sort of uh, plant this is what we're looking for so plants that can be trimmed and will grow in a multitude of different soils and conditions so behind me in this particular hedge row that I've got it's ended up uh, unintentionally as a bit of a mixed hedge so it's got different plants in there from pittosporins to eugenias to even a, pseudo, a couple of pseudopanaxes in there so we're going to have a look at my top picks for hedging plants and some of the do's and don'ts with hedges and yeah so at the end of it you'll be able to create your private garden a private sort of space so we'll start off with the most popular hedge in auckland new zealand i would say and this is grisolinia littoralis it's a popular popular hedge because it will tolerate many conditions from poor soil to really hot and cold temperatures. As a hedging plant it will it is it's got a pretty good growth rate so it's, I would say it's probably medium to fast so if you put a plant in around about sort of 70 to 80 centimeters high and and space it around about 80 centimeters between plants you will find that you'll get a screen hedge roughly within about three or four years of a height of around about sort of two two meters. This one here is Ardmore Emerald. It's a it's one of my popular varieties that I would recommend to people, and it is green, slightly darker green leaf, and it is slightly smaller leaf, but I find it's a little bit more resistant to the conditions, and it can tolerate the drought. Some of the Grisolinia's drawbacks is that in the hot summer, as we found over the last couple of years, we found that the, there was a few few of the plants started to die out because there is a bacteria that affects the roots. This one here is Broadway Mint. Uh, which is also another popular variety uh, but yes overall a good hedging plant as you can see it's nicely it can be nicely clipped into different heights here it's a little bit higher so a good choice for screen planting and hedging right so our next hedge is camellia hedges very popular because also in these hedges you get the bonus of these beautiful flowers that will flower usually from about autumn through winter so when there's not much flowering in the garden these things are flowering you can see they make a nice clipped hedge most popular hedging for camellias is the camellia sasanqua it's a japanese variety and this one obviously is a pink flowering one there's lots of different varieties out there they are slower growing then uh so you, you'd have to if you put a plant in around about 70 centimeters with a spacing of 70 centimeters you'd probably be looking at more six to seven years to get that sort of height of about two meters this is a popular plant that i do recommend quite often this is the camellia early pearly very nice uh multi uh, flower white flowering camellia there are other ones too, uh, the Setsa Gekka, which we did a video on not so long back. That was that's another very popular plant too. That's the Setsa Gekka, and we've got a few different plants um, available. Um, I do recommend them. They don't require as much pruning because they are slower grown. That's the big benefit, and you do get the benefit of flowers, and they will get up to about three four meters, but you can keep them clipped at any height. Next, next we have the Crocia vugata, and this is a popular native hedge. It can grow up to about three meters high. With the plants spacing wise for these hedging plants, you'd need to space them a little bit closer, about 50 to 60 centimeters apart. 
and they do respond to uh, clipping and you can clip them into a quite a thin hedge as you can see in this one here it's just covering a wall and that would only be around about 50 to 60 centimeters wide and around about two meters high they took do take a little bit longer to grow because they're slightly slower growing uh, so you're probably looking about five to six years to get it to around about that two meter level and they do have berries there are some popular varieties this obviously is the uh, Ginty's green very popular and there is uh, frosted chocolate and Ginty's ghost all good varieties and all good for a limited sort of space where you want something sort of tall and thin and will tolerate soils of clay and sand coastal conditions as well wind tolerant so great plants if you don't want to if you don't want something too fast growing and you just want it to sort of maintain its sort of height around about that sort of two and a half to three meters so I do recommend them uh, quite often in plans especially when in uh, tight spaces as you can see you can clip them to any height and this one's been clipped around about sort of about 80 to centimeters high to a one meter very smart looking hedge so if you want something very very quick growing then this is the, the hedge for you this is Eugenia ventinati and it is sometimes called the lily pilly and it grows super super fast has beautiful red foliage is tolerant of lots of different soils clay soils and very um, sort of wind tolerant as well the downside to it is actually because it grows quickly it needs a lot of maintenance to keep it well pruned if you don't keep it pruned then it will get into a very big tree and so you you have to be careful with it um, just to make sure you do keep it clipped otherwise if you can keep it clipped you can clip it to any height and it will form a nice dense sort of compact hedge and a good screen hedge for mo most purposes so I do recommend it but just with that little caveat or that you have to be careful about the pruning as an alternative to the Eugenia you've got this one here called Fatinia Red Robin and that will grow a lot slower and and height wise will only get to around about four to five meters so you can keep this one quite well maintained so it's a popular choice uh, where you want something with the red foliage at the top and yeah, availability is good this is another popular choice for hedging and screening it's the petasporum hedge as you can see this one here is about two meters just over two meters high and it comes in different forms so this is the smaller leaf form called petasporum tenifolium and it's a good choice where you want a nice dense hedge because those smaller leaves allow it to be clipped into a more compact size it's pretty tolerant these petasporums are very tolerant of um, conditions including poor soils and exposed to wind and that makes them a popular choice there are other varieties in this particular hedge it's a mixed hedge but this one has got uh, petasporum eugenoides called the lemon wood if you crush the leaves it has a lemon smell and that's a larger plant so it goes a little bit too big for most situations but this is another popular choice called petasporum crassifolium and very drought resistant good for coastal uh, situations but generally they're a good hedging plant you can clip them to any size any height and will be fairly reasonably fast growing to establish a screen uh, within about three to four years at about two to three meters height Hi guys, so here we are at Auckland Botanic Gardens and I was just thought we'd have a quick look to see what Auckland Botanic Gardens use for their hedge. As you can see this is uh, a totra, a Potocarpus totra hedge and it is a very spiky little hedge but extremely dense. So these Potocarpus totra are pretty slow growing. Uh, here you can see this is a grey version of it, uh, planted with a nice uh, Formium Dark Delight. This is the flax, but behind you can see the one called Matapori Blue. It's a nice blue looking totra. So this is going to look really nice with the grey and the purple uh, foliage. You can see if they're spaced around about a metre apart. And it will take a little bit of time to grow, but will form a very dense hedge. If you're looking for a plant that you don't have to prune this is a good choice this is Thuya occidentalis and there's a couple of good varieties there there's pyramidillus and smaragad uh, um, it, it will grow fairly slowly 
So you're probably going to take a little while to get to your height of maybe 3 meters. You might have to wait 10 years, but good for colder climates. Spacing wise, you'd need to space these about 60 centimeters apart. This next plant is called Michaelia, and it's a good hedging plant. It can be good for frost free areas. So it is a little bit frost sensitive. So you have to be careful there. And quite often with these plants, what they do is remove the lower branches to form a single trunk. And then you have your canopy on top. It has the bonus of a scented white flower and it can it is slower growing than some hedges this one here Michaeli Groseps is a good one because it has a smaller leaf which means it can be clipped in a more compact fashion so yeah good choice for more ornamental gardens Good selection of bamboos. So bamboos make a very dense uh, screen. This one's called Wang Sai. What you're really looking for is the non-suckering type, which this one is. So um, you don't want them to start suckering the more. This is the more caught, what's called clump bamboos. So they are good for screening, good for sort of oriental, subtropical gardens also. Okay guys, that wraps up another video. This one was on hedges and screen plants. Hope you found it useful. If you did, like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.